Hello everyone, we are here again to discuss another lesson for you to learn something. First and foremost, I would like to introduce myself. I am Jazz Omao together with my co-member Myra Baliwan as your presenter for today. Our task for today is to determine if the following functions are continuous or discontinuous at x is equals to c. Let's recall first the following conditions to determine if the function is continuous or discontinuous at x is equals to c. First, the function value must exist. Second, the limit of the function as x approaches to c must also exist. And third, the first two conditions must be equal. For our first item, f of x is equal to x cubed minus 5x squared plus 1 and the value of x is equal to the square root of 2. For letter a, we just need to substitute the square root of 2 to the given function. Hence, we can get the square root of 2 cubed minus 5 multiplied by the square root of 2 squared plus 5 multiplied by the square root of 2 plus 1. The square root of 2 cubed is equal to 2.8284 and the square root of 2 squared is equal to 2 multiplied by negative 5 is equal to negative 10 and 5 multiplied by the square root of 2 is equal to 7.0710 plus 1. Add it all and we can get the 0 0.8994. For letter b to determine the limit of the function, we can just do the direct substitution of the square root of 2. Hence, we can still get the 0 0.8994 as the limit of the function. For letter C, the first two conditions are equal. Therefore, the function is continuous at x is equal to the square root of 2. For item number 2, f of x is equal to 2 over 3x squared minus 1 over 5x plus 1. And the value of x is equal to negative 3. For letter A, substitute the negative 3. Hence, we can get a 2 over 3 multiplied by negative 3 squared minus 1 over 5 multiplied by negative 3 plus 5. Negative 3 squared is equal to 9. And multiplying negative 1 over 5 to negative 3 is equal to 3 over 5. And for multiplying 2 over 3 by 9, we can just cancel the 3 and 9. And 2 times 3 is equal to 6 plus 3 over 5 plus 5. 6 plus 3 over 5 is equal to 33 over 5. Let's proceed to 33 over 5 plus 5. 5 will have the denominator of 1. Hence, the LCD of it is 5. And 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. Multiplied by 33 is equal to 33. 5 divided by 1 is 5. Multiplied by 5 is equal to 25. 33 plus 25 is equal to 58. And capital denominators, which is 5. Hence, we can get the answer 58 over 5. And for finding the limit, we can just do the direct substitution and we can get the answer 58 over 5, which is the limit of the function. Since it satisfied all the conditions, therefore, the function is continuous at x is equal to negative 3. Our third item is f of x is equal to x cubed plus 3x squared minus x minus 3 all over x plus 1. And the value of x is equal to negative 1. First substitute, we can get negative 1 cubed plus 3 multiplied by negative 1 squared minus negative 1 minus 3 over negative 1 plus 1. Negative 1 plus 3 multiplied by 1 since negative multiplied by itself is positive 1 plus 1 minus 3 all over negative 1 plus 1. Negative 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. 2 plus 1 minus 3 over 0 is equal to 3 minus 3 over 0 and we can get the answer 0 over 0 which is indeterminate and for the limit of the function since it is factorable we can just do the factorization to find the limit of it hence the limit of x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 1 all over x plus 1 as x approaches to negative 1 we can just cancel the x plus 1 since those are the like terms and the remaining will be the limit of x plus 3 multiplied by x minus 1 as x approaches to negative 1. Substitute the negative 1. We can get the negative 1 plus 3 multiplied by negative 1 minus 1. 
negative 1 plus 3 is 2 and negative 1 minus 1 is 2. Therefore, we can get the answer 4. Since it does not satisfy the first condition which is indeterminate, therefore, the function is still discontinuous at x is equal to negative 1. For the next item, f of x is equal to 6x squared plus x minus 2 over 2x minus 1. And x is equal to negative 1 half. For letter A, substitute negative 1 half, 6 multiplied by negative 1 half squared minus negative 1 half minus 2. And over 2 multiplied by negative 1 half minus 1. Negative 1 half squared is equal to 1 fourth and negative 1 half multiplied by negative will become positive 1 half. And 6 multiplied by 1 fourth is equal to 3 over 2 plus 1 half minus 2 over negative 2 since negative 1 minus 1 is equal to negative 2. And negative 1 minus 2 is negative 1 all over negative 2. It will become positive 1 half since a fraction with negative numerator and denominator is always positive. And for the limit of the function, since it is factorable, it will become the limit of 3x plus 2 multiplied by 2x minus 1 over 2x minus 1 as x approaches to negative 1 half. Cancel the 2x minus 1, and it will become the limit of 3x plus 2 as x approaches to negative 1 half. 3 multiplied by negative 1 half plus 2 is equal to negative 3 over 2 plus 2. We can also get the positive 1 half if we add negative 3 over 2 to 2. Since it satisfies the 3 condition, therefore the function is continuous at x is equal to negative 1 half. For item number 5, g of x is equal to x squared plus 6x minus 7 over x squared minus x minus 6. And the value of x is equal to 3. For letter a, the evaluating function, substitute the 3. Hence, we can get 3 squared plus 6 multiplied by 3 minus 7 over 3 squared minus 3 minus 6. It is equal to 9 plus 18 minus 7 over 9 minus 3 minus 6. 9 plus 18 is equal to 27 minus 7 and 9 minus 3 is 6 minus 6. Hence, we can get the 20 over 0. It is undefined since the denominator is 0. And for finding the limit of the function, since there is no cancellation if we factor it out, hence we can just do the direct substitution and we can get the 20 over 0. Since the first condition is undefined, therefore the function is discontinuous at x is equal to 3. Number, c, number 6 is h of x is equal to x squared over 2x squared plus 17x plus 8. The value of x is equal to 8. So, for the letter a, which is we substitute our 8 to the given function, so we can get the h of a, 8 is equal to 8 squared over 2 times 8 squared plus 17 times 8 plus 8. So, 8 squared is equal to 64 and over 2 times 64 is equal to 128 plus 17 times 8 is equal to 136 plus 8. So, it's equal to 4 over 17. So, Letter B, we can de determine the limit of function. We can just do to substitute our 8. So, we can still the same answer of 4 over 17 at the limit of the function. And so, letter, letter C, the first two conditions are equal. Therefore, the function of x is continuous at x equals to 8. Number 7 is f of x is equal to 2x plus 3 if x is less than or, or equal to 3 and x minus 5 if x greater than to 3. Our values of x is negative 3. So, so our function is 2x plus 3 if x is less than or equal to 3. Mababa siya sa 3 or equal siya sa 3. Kaya, ayan ang function natin. So, letter A is f 
sa substitute natin ang negative 3. So, magiging f of negative 3 is equal to 2 times negative 3 plus 3 equals negative 3. So, our letter B is we can determine the limit of function. So, we can we can do the substitute negative 3. So, we can get the same answer also. So, negative 3, the limit of the function. So, letter C is, therefore, the function is continuous at x is equal to negative 3. For number 8, the given is f of x is equal to x plus 5 over x plus 2 if x is not equal to 2 and 5 if x is equal to 2 and the value of x is equal to 10. For letter A, we chose the function x plus 5 over x plus 2 since our x is not equal to 2. Therefore, substituting the 10, hence we can get 10 plus 5 over 10 plus 2. 10 plus 5 is 15 and 10 plus 2 is 12. We can get 5 over 4 as the lowest term of 15 over 12. Same goes to the limit. Since the values from the left and right of 10 is not equal to 2, then we just need to use the function x plus 5 over x plus 2. The limit of x plus 5 over x plus 2 as x approaches to 10 is equal to 10 plus 5 over 10 plus 2. We can still get the value 5 over 4. For letter C, f of 10 is equal to 5 over 4 is equal to the limit of the function as x approaches to 10. Therefore, the function is continuous at x is equal to 10. For item 9, h of x is equal to x squared plus 1 if x is less than 4, 3 minus x if x is greater than or equal to 4 but less than or equal to 6, and 2x squared minus 8 if x is greater than to 6 and the value of x is 4. For letter A, we chose the function 3 minus x since x is equal to 4. Hence, f of 4 is equal to 3 minus x and 3 minus 4 is equal to negative 1. And for finding the limit, from the left, we chose the x squared plus 1 since x is less than 4, which is 3. Therefore, the limit of x squared plus 1 as x approaches to 4 is equal to 4 squared plus 1. 4 squared is equal to 16 plus 1 is equal to 17. And the value of the limit from the left is 17. And from the right, we chose the 3 minus x since 5 is less than or equal to 6. Hence, the limit of 3 minus 6 as x approaches to 4 is equal to 3 minus 4 and equals to negative 1. The right and left hand limit are not equal, therefore, it does not exist. And for letter C, f of 4 is equal to negative 1, and it is not equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches to 4. Therefore, the function is discontinuous at x is equal to 4. And for the last item, h of x is equal to 3x cubed plus 4x squared minus 5x if x is less than or equal to negative 5. 3x minus 7 over x minus 4 if x is greater than to negative 5 but less than neg to negative 9. x plus 8 over x cubed minus 4x squared plus 8x if x is greater than or equal to 9. And the value of x is equal to 2. For letter A, f of 2 is equal to 3x minus 7 over x minus 4. We chose that function since 2 is greater than to negative 5 but less than 9 by substituting 2 to the x 3 times 2 minus 7 over 2 minus 4 3 times 2 is 6 minus 7 and 2 minus 4 is negative 2 6 minus 7 over negative 2 here is equals to negative 1 over negative 2 or 1 half and for the limit, we chose the 3x minus 7 over x minus 4 since the values from the left and right of 2 is greater than negative 5 but less than 2, 9. Therefore, the limit of 3x minus 7 over x minus 4 as x approaches to 2 
is equal to 3 times 2 minus 7 over 2 minus 4. We also just get 1 half since we direct substitute the 2. Hence, def of 2 is equal to 1 half is equal to the limit of the function as x approaches to 2. Therefore, the function is continuous at x is equal to 2.